Let's begin with the summary for Kurukshetra February edition. Now this focuses on skill development. Under skill development, you have some of the major schemes, which are Nidhi. Uh, then you have Kiran. Uh, there is a scheme GSDP, which is about green skill development. You are talking about TD, uh, TEDP. So those are some of the major schemes that we would be focusing as we proceed. So let's first talk about the skills in India. Now with the industry 4.0 revolution coming in definitely there is a need to enhance the existing job market and bring in much more better and advanced developments with a idea of sustainable livelihood managing the sustainable development goals as laid down and bringing in much more innovative skills with the youth now talking about the past developments we started with a skill india campaign back in july 2015 we are talking about Apprenticeship Act, which focuses on the trainers and uh, training the youth. Now, if you look on to the reports or the reports laid down by MSME, that's the Ministry for Small and Medium Enterprise, we see that in India, we have only 5% skilled labor force. In contrast to South Korea, where it is nearly 96%, Japan, Germany, US and UK, where you have more than 50% of the manpower, which is a skill. With India, we have have only 5% of the skilled manpower and therefore there is an urgent need to train the youth under various central government programs or under various schemes that could be brought about. So National Apprenticeship Promotion Scheme which was launched back in 2016 is one of the basic um, units through which we are trying to enhance those the next is a strive strive is a skill in uh, strengthening for industrial value enhancement now this is funded by whom it's funded by world bank started back in 2016 for various industrial cl clusters under the directorate uh, general of employment and training the next is the various launches for national skill competitions india skills now india skills 2020 is another a youth platform which showcases the ability of the Indian youth. We are trying to bring in three important courses. One is the drone pilots, 3D printing and Internet of Things, IoT, what we call as 20 hours of mandatory training would be part of it. And then you ha you would have the skill training centers or the Kaushal Kendra through which the entrepreneurship uh, would be taken into account. Now, talking about the skill development for India, we have uh, productivity, employment, economic growth and poverty reduction are some of our major objectives along with quality improvement in the life. So we have various initiatives which have come up mainly for the job market and the global uh, future scenario of an youth. So what are the skills of future under industry 4.0 mainly focuses on IoT, robotics, 3D printing, talking about blockchain technology, decision making, artificial intelligence and decision making, e-governance. So those are some of the major platforms that we focus focus on. If we look on to uh, the India's economy, we have nearly 62% of the workforce between the working age group and uh, of the total of which we have nearly 49% which is employed in agricultural sector. So again, we are talking about uh, the youth which is skilled but unemployed when we are focusing of 43 percent of the engineers who do not have decent jobs or are unemployed now focusing on to the labor force participation we are talking about economically active scenario but still there is huge amount of <coughs> gig laborers or gig employees that are seen the percentage of unemployed person is significantly higher if we see on to the percentage of employment we have highest percentage which is given by agriculture followed by wholesale and retail trade and manufacturing so these three are the major proportion of sectors where you have highest number of employment scenarios formal and informal training is again an important scenario where you have higher proportion of uh, males which are part of the formal training uh, in contrast to the informal training the proportion of the formal training both for males and females is significantly low but if we look on to the statistics we have nearly 50 percent of the uh, females which are under the formal training as compared to a very less percentage for males which are under formal training in contrast to the total proportion of the workforce that is seen now talking about the national career centers now these are the centers through which you have the training programs that are scheduled for the employers as well as the employees uh, new india at 75 is the idea where we are focusing on employment promotion agencies talking about artificial intelligence and machine learning 
As of now, 54% of the population is below the age of 25. By 2022, we say that the average age of work participation would be 29 years. So definitely there has to be a platform where much more advanced curriculums could be brought about. So we have STAR scheme. Now what is this STAR scheme is again important. It is a standard training assessment and reward which works along with foreign collaboration mainly for skill development. Shreyas is another scheme which is for skill youth participation in apprenticeship and skills. Kaushal Vikas Kendra are the centers through which this has been released and these are the various categories under which we are trying to bring in much more skill development. So talking about MSME, which is one of the major ministries responsible for skill development, uh, the ministry is trying to bridge the gap between the demand and the supply, bring in much more uh, empowered youth, much more skilled youth, upgrading the newer technologies. So you have the National Skill Development Agency Corporation funds through which you have various uh, imparting of the schemes that has taken place. Under the various schemes, you have the list of those. Some of the major ones we would be discussing today under the STI policy 2013. If we focus on women entrepreneurship, across the globe, nearly half percent, uh, half of the women comprise uh, the population. But when it comes to entrepreneurship for women, it's really a very, very small percentage, mainly limited to informal sector. Uh, it's either proprietary or micro-sized in nature. So bringing much more women entrepreneurs is another important objective. For that, we would require better economic growth, narrowing down the glass ceiling effect, the gender gaps that are there, and much more uh, safe workplace environment that could be seen. Talking about the challenges, when it comes to challenges for uh, women entrepreneurs, it's mainly the lack of networking, uh, the market inter uh, intelligence uh, is lacking, there is limited accessibility to the loan scenario that is seen. Again, when we talk about the STI, which is very, very important, Science, Technology and Innovation Policy brought back in 2013, mainly for faster and inclusive development, we are talking about Srishti, which is a kind of research and innovation system for high technology path in India. Now some of the major schemes as we said. So the first one is STST which is a skill development training through science and technology. The duration is less than one year, usually two to three months and through which innovative skill areas could be defined. The next is NIMAT. Uh, NIMAT is the National Implementing and Monitoring Agency for Training. Now this is a program through which various educational programs and specialized organized programs have been launched. There are various entrepreneurship awareness camps which are part of it, faculty development programs which are part of it. Uh, this includes Nidhi. Now Nidhi is an award which is Nidhi Award National Initiative for Development and uh, Harnessing Innovation Award. This is also in line with the New Gen IEDC which is New Generation Innovation Entrepreneurship Development Center. Nidhi also has the steps that is the science and technology entrepreneurship parks and the technology business incubators to nurture much more uh, development during the uh, initial period or the critical period of innovation. Avsar is the argumentative uh, writing skills for articulating research. Uh, this has been initiated by National Council for Science and Technology Communication. Now who has brought which scheme is again again important. So initiation of this has been important. Kiran talks about knowledge advancement in research uh, through nurturing so bringing the schemes mainly for women uh, bringing gender uh, disparity or removing kind of gender disparity bringing in gender equality is one of the major ideas and one year internship in the domain of intellectual property is one of the major features for this screen the next is green skill development program now this talks about environmental quality for a better sustainable future so minimizing the pollutions minimizing the waste levels bringing in much more employment and skilled employment is one of the major focuses tdip uh, which is technology based entrepreneurship development program focuses on the development needs of uh, science and technology entrepreneurships mainly you have certain specific areas biomedical glass ceramic fragments food processing are some of the major 
अदर एरियाज सी एस आई आर स्किल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम्स आर ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट यू हैव इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हिमालयन बायो रिसोर्स टेक्नोलॉजी लोकेटेड एट पालमपुर विच इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉक्सिकोलॉजिकल रिसर्च इन लखनऊ इज अगेन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन यू ऑल्सो हैव द लेदर इंस्टीट्यूट एंड द आंध्र प्रदेश एस सी कॉरपोरेटिव फाइनेंस कॉरपोरेशन विच आर वर्किंग फॉर द अपग्रेडेशन ऑफ अंडर प्रिवलेज पीपल मेनली बिलो द पॉवर्टी लाइन वोकेशनल एजुकेशन आफ्टर इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ और ड्यूरिंग इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ इज वन ऑफ द मेजर फोकस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट फॉर ब्रिंगिंग इन मच मोर स्किल्ड मैन पावर द आइडिया इज एजुकेशन फॉर ऑल अफोर्डेबल एजुकेशन फ्री एजुकेशन फॉर गर्ल्स ब्रिंगिंग इन वर्ल्ड क्लास स्किल्ड पॉपुलेशन फ्लेक्सीबल एजुकेशन सिस्टम विद होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट बट इट ऑल्सो कम्स अलॉन्ग विद इशूज वी आर फोकसिंग इन इनपुट्स uh issues related to make in india there is shortage of trained labor that is seen uh, there are little or no jobs that are seen then you have the kaushal yojana based in hyderabad which is again one of the uh, major initiatives that we need to focus on skill training and digital literacy and finance programs are important we are focusing on national council for vocational training and a ppb model for skill based corporation also development in the health fronts is important so uh, pradhan mantri जन आरोग्य योजना इज वन ऑफ द मेजर स्कीम्स थ्रू विच वी आर ट्राइंग अबाउट बेनिफिटिंग द रूरल एंड द अनसर्व पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द कंट्री सो दो मेजर हाईलाइट द स्कीम्स दैट वी ऑलरेडी फोकस्ड ऑन द एस टी आई पॉलिसी टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन किरण अवसर निधि द ग्रीन स्किल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम आर सम ऑफ द मेजर प्रोग्राम दैट यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन देन यू हैव द स्टार स्कीम द स्किल डेवलपमेंट स्किल डेवलपमेंट इनिशिएटिव फॉर फ्यूचर जॉब्स दोज वर सम ऑफ द मेजर issues that we have focused we would be coming up with many more interesting summaries in the upcoming uh, se- section so stay tuned for many more highlights have a wonderful evening